Hi, it's Tom Flest Fan TV. Uh, just thought I'd do a quick review of the game against Newcastle today. A four 0 win for Leicester. Uh, overall, good performance. Uh, you know, considering we lost Johnny after four minutes, uh, Cassani were booked after I think for ten minutes, and I was very worried that uh, some maximum would get of our defence today, seeing that Wilford dropped back. But you know, fair play, I think. Brendan and the team got the tactics right. They doubled up on St. Maximin every single time they got the ball. Didn't let him muck around with it. Didn't let him try and go past anyone. Uh, really backfired, really, on Newcastle. Because I think they thought the, the main threat for them would be St. Maximin trying to link up with uh, Wilson. And we nullified it, really. We, I don't think Callum Wilson did much in the game. I think we caught Joe Linton quite as well. Uh, and all... Though they've got John Joel Chauvet, a brawler in the middle field of the park, who was trying to link play up Leicester, considering it was a makeshift defence, defended pretty well as a unit. On the other front going forward, wow. Just wow today. I mean, look, I'm not going to sit and say Newcastle are a great team, but overall, if we play like that against most teams, we will cause any team, even if they've got a very good defence, problems. Uh, if you can pass the ball one-twos around defenders, you're going to cause team problems. And today... We saw that with uh, Madison's goal, the little one too between him and Dakar. The goal for uh, Dakar himself, I mean the ball uh, KBH into uh, Madison's feet. Madison first time flipped round the corner into Barnes. Barnes takes a great touch and, you know, unsells it, lays it into the path of Dakar to uh, to make it 2-0. And then, you know, you look at the third goal, the link up play again, the ball down the line, Dakar, unselfish, could easily run towards the goal and had a shot, but no, he looks up two, three times to find out where the players are. He then plays a ping it ball to Madison, who takes the ball on the turn. And again, Madison could have been selfish, middle of the goal. No, he lays it to Tillemans, who takes a touch and pings it into the corner across the goalkeeper and uh, the two defenders, leaving them for nothing. Like I say, all round, good performance, uh, a great result, pushes up to eighth in the Premier League, and hopefully now the signs of good things to come. Because the season so far, yeah, it's been disappointing, but to be disappointed season, still be eighth in the Premier League, I'd uh, take, I'd snap my hand off for that, and uh, hopefully it's the th move in the right directions. The only negative, obviously, Johnny Evans is injured, uh, and Brendan's come out after the game and said that uh, Hags how I felt something towards the back end. Now, he didn't say what it was. He just said he felt uncomfortable towards the end game. Now, that would leave us in a bit of a, a defensive mess if Cassania is, is out as well. I can see Johnny being out for a, a numerous weeks now if he's done his hamstring. But if the Cag's out as well on Thursday, that would leave us a very, very shaky back line. If uh, Amati's not available because of COVID, that only literally leaves you in Diddy, uh, Ben Nelson to come in at the back line. And... Literally, that's it. You you are struck for cast. Uh, I mean, I don't know who's the COVID party is. I mean, let's hope that Vestergaard is an illness. I mean, they haven't said who's got the COVID and who hasn't got COVID in the squad. So, be interesting to see when it comes to that uh, on Thursday night. Burrell, great win. Great to get back to win ways. And special mention to Casper tonight for me. A uh, lot of man and match went for Tillim and the Madison. I went to Casper because... At 2 0, the game was on a knife edge for in some ways, and that save he made from the Cassandia back pass uh, was spectacular and really kept us in the you know kept us in the game in some ways. Because I said if that had gone in, then I'd been very concerned about how we we would have reacted as a team. We'd gone two one instead of you know still been two 0 So special meds to Casper tonight. Get that clean sheet, and hopefully now that's a bit of a confidence booster to him as well. But cheers for listening, and I'll see you all soon. Cheers, bye-bye.